I have here is a piece of stained glass that my grandparents made and it was in a frame that they used and they had a fluorescent light in it. It was up off an island and my parents uh, are remodeling the cabin where this was at and they put in a ceiling fan instead. Actually, I should say, I put in the ceiling fan. And uh, they gave me this because I didn't have a use for it. So now I want to take this frame apart, see what I have to work with, and then we just take these screws off in here. Take this piece out, and then the piece should come off. No, I don't need to save it. I might just bust it off right at the end. Let's try a brute force attack. It was just, this is what I figured, it was like a press board, the laminate vinyl over it. So very cheap. But it worked for what Grandpa needed at the time. He's got two pieces of glass on this. So that's my plan. I am going to use that trim. If that doesn't work, um, I have some old rough sawn pine that I'm going to cut down and try to cut a groove into. But that's my plan for more making it. I'd prefer to make it out of that oak. I feel like it would look a little better. Um, I think it'll support it nicely. So it does have a piece of 3 16th glass. I will leave that glass on and have that facing the finished side. So that will support this stained glass. And then sandwich it in. And I'm just going to try to catch the edge, just to, at most quarter inch on each side. I'd like to try to stay to an eighth, but that might be a touch too small. It's a nice piece. I, I really think, think it's pretty. Hope to find a good spot to put it. Well, I have it apart. i got to figure out how much width I need and if the stuff I have is going to work. Three-eighths of an inch exactly. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had more of this. That would make a beautiful frame. Right, this trim. That would just be gorgeous. But I don't have very much of that. I don't have a long enough piece for one side. I would have to cut it down to notch it and then have a backer board attached to it, which I have the backer board. That's not a problem. I just don't have very much of that. And this one's pretty rough. Not sure what happened to that. This is, would also work not quite as nice. This is why I don't work on high rises. Because <laughs> I drop everything. I always have been crazy. 
So I can definitely cut a channel in this and then lay that over. But again, I don't want to do too much and that frame wouldn't be bad. Obviously it's baseboard. It looks like baseboard, but it doesn't. I don't think it would look bad. This piece could be used for the top and the bottom. Do I have enough? Do I have a big enough piece? This wood has been sitting around for at least 20 years. Because I built the house 20 years ago this year that it came from. And it never got used. It was extra. I finished the basement. I used up everything extra we had in the basement. And then this is what's left over from finishing the basement. So I definitely have enough to do this. A little bit of wood filler in the holes that are there. A little touch up. Maybe hit it with some old English or something like that. Just uh, needs a little bit of oil. to sandwich it. This end's finished. That wouldn't be bad. I feel like that's not big enough. I have a limited amount of this. This is one and a quarter actual measurement by a quarter. It's not an exact match, but it's a oak. It would really just be on the back side anyways. You'd be seeing it through the glass, this back edge, so it's not going to be a big deal. I have just enough to do what I need to do. Last trim I have, this is chair rail, and I don't have enough of this, I'm sure. Again, I feel like it's too wide, it could be trimmed in half, right at the curve, and just knock off the edge. And it would be, you know, you can trim it right there at the base, at the bottom of the curve, and knock that edge off and just have it be that width if I wanted to keep it narrow. I, I don't know. I go too wide with this. I feel like the picture is going to look, it's going to overpower the, the frame. So I'm trying to decide what to do to make it look decent and not be... Yeah, boy, I wish I had more of that. I really like that low profile. So, can I cut or rip this down and make it look decent? Can knock it down right there. So I'm thinking here I could take some of these boards and see if I could play with them. I have a lot of these. I could knock it down right at this edge where it curves down and just straight edge straight all right so here's my first cut just rip that end off that edge off just using this as a filler just to hold it a little bit
I'll actually put it this way. So the thin end is down, the thick end is in the back. I just, I have to hit this edge around it just a little bit more now after I cut it. But it's not bad. I'm pretty happy with it, with the profile. Just use a little sandpaper. Keep in mind, this wood really needs to be oiled, but that's the edge I'm looking for. Just a nice round, simple round. Oh, will this work? Shoot it back. I like it. I like it. All right. Well, we have lots of boards to cut. Yep. Fasten it in. It actually works. With this as the filler piece, it, it really feels like it fits perfectly. That's going to be awesome. All right. Well, that'll be a fun project to do. Bye-bye.